Bunch of Crunch Army here and today, we have a special video for you. We're going to be analyzing the very popular POI, Lazy Lake. We're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of the drop spot, rotations from Lazy Lake, and where possible threats are from outside the POI. We're trying out a new series, so if you guys like this type of video, be sure to leave a like, and if this video like gets enough love, we're gonna turn this into a series because you know we're really interested to see what you guys think about this. So leave your comment in the section below, and let's jump right into this thing. Crunch and Crunch Army, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, scream this out. Here we go. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that. Crunch and Crunch! Woo! And let's get this going. All right, so Lazy Lake is a POI that we've seen at Fortnite for a while with not a lot of changes to it. In terms of pros, we first have location. Lazy is almost the center of the map, right? This means that it's very likely you're gonna get zoned every time or at least be pretty close to it. Just around the outskirts of Lazy, we have a mountain terrain which is going to allow for natural high ground and is an unlikely spot for players to be roaming around. But you gotta keep your eyes peeled because you can never be too sure. So the next pro we have is loot. The loot at Lazy Lake, in our opinion, is top tier. With the amount of chests and ammo crates in the area, it's gonna be hard for you to leave without an ideal loadout at the very least. There are also fishing spots available, so if you're looking to play for the end game and get fished, then we got you covered there. So be sure to stick around to the very end of the video for a loot route that we recommend that you use for this, all right? Materials are also another pro here because wood is easy to gather here, and finally brick is, you know, a little harder, but if you break a few buildings and just head to the outskirts, there are plenty of rocks around, so brick is covered too. So we gotta take a look at the cons of Lazy Lake. Here we go. So we all know that Lazy Lake is a popular POI, and this is our first con. The chances of you being contested are super high. You're rarely gonna have this place to yourself, let me just tell you that. If you're a player who wants peace and quiet, then Lazy Lake might not be your spot. Now, because of how popular this POI is, when you do get into a spawn fight, you should expect a third party, like immediately. <laughs> this is a high possibility, and it's just something that you need to keep track, you know, in the back of your mind. Try and just wrap your fights up super quick, all right? Our second con is threats from outside of Lazy Lake. You have enough to worry about players from inside of Lazy Lake, but the threat doesn't even stop there. Caddy Corner is a massive threat to Lazy Lake, which isn't something a lot of people even consider. This is true though, like due to the natural high ground of the POI, all it really takes is the jump pad or the mythic launcher. These items can travel a player to Lazy Lake with ease. Now this isn't going to be an immediate threat, as it's honestly likely the area of Caddy is gonna have to be first be cleared before anyone rotates from it, but that does mean your time in Lazy has to be numbered. So you can avoid this threat altogether, bro. Our final con is a controversial one, so we're gonna leave it up to you guys, all right? A lot of players in the community have mixed feelings on this one, and I'm talking about Marauders. Now, Marauders are a squad of AIs that spawn randomly from capsules. They do not guard specific locations, so that's a positive. I could just tell you from experience, though, that encountering this squad is common, especially around Lazy. They can drop some good loot like shields and weapons, but a lot of people see them as just a hindrance rather than a positive, so that's why we're putting them down as a con. Yes, and also super annoying. Now that the pros and cons are covered, let's look at the rotations, all right? Rotating from Lazy Lake couldn't be easier. The location on the map means you can just rotate towards any area you like. You can head in any direction you like or even on foot. This means that you can avoid fights or look for one depending on your game plan. To the west of Lazy, you have a small water area which has boats available. East also has a boat to rotate around the right side of the map if the zone is heading in that direction. If you don't want to make so much noise with the boat, then you can just swim down the streams available. Swimming is much faster than running. There are two streams of water heading in opposite directions so you do have a choice. You can also choose to swim towards the middle of the map or you can take the other stream which will take you towards the bottom portion of the map. If you do choose the stream heading north, then you will find yourself at a waterfall. We wouldn't recommend dropping off the waterfall as you want to stay on the natural high ground. You can use the mountains to grab a few extra materials like wood and brick and then box up if you're playing for a placement and you want to play it safe. Now for loot route, what we do recommend is to land at the No Sweat Insurance building. Start from the top down and then get each chest through the building. 
Throughout this building, there are four chests, some floor loot and ammo crates, so keep your eyes peeled, okay? There is a chest that you can access by breaking through this wall on the second floor. This opens you up to the building attached and you can get easy access to a chest. So after this building is looted, you want to head west towards the lake. Loot the outside chest first, go into the house and loot both chests inside. Then fish any spots in the lake. Loot the outside chest, the chest in the garage, pick up any floor loot inside the building, and then you're done. This route, you can avoid any players who have landed deeper into lazy, you can get to fish the lake, and once you've done all that, you can follow the stream north towards the whirlpool and rotate from there depending on the zone. Alright my friends, it's about that time. We gotta do a quick recap to make sure that we're leaving you with the right information. Here we go. Lazy Lake has gray loot, materials, and rotations. It's located almost in the center of the map, meaning the chances of you getting the safe zone is high, and if you don't, you can easily rotate to it. Lazy can be highly contested, so you may fight out spawn, and chances are, if you fight out spawn, it's likely a third party is going to come along too. You can get pushed by the winner of Cabby, and Marauders are common in this area as well. You have a lot of rotation options from Lazy, which is great. From loot to swimming to boat to air, man, you can do it all from here. Due to its amount of options, you really shouldn't have any problems with zones. All right, follow our loot route starting at the insurance building to end up with 10 chests and fish. I know this game is RNG, but having 10 chests available and floor loot, you're likely getting some of the best loot possible, guys. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Thank you for watching to the very, very end. If you guys can just leave a like, it really does help us out to know what kind of content that you guys wanna see. So comment your thoughts below on this potential new series and what POIs you want us to cover in the future. Make sure to subscribe with notifications on and so you don't miss another upload that we have coming up. And keep eating that bunch of crunch and we'll see you soon.